Hey, super awesome stampers. This is super awesome stamper Shirley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. In this video, I will share how to create this angled card. I do believe it's called a Z-fold. It's been around forever. And then I will also share how I made these delicate vellum snowflakes. So let's get started. This is the template that I keep in my template file. Let's see if I can get it all on the screen. Um, and it is it measures eight and a half this way by eleven this way. And now that I have my scoring and folding measurements, so you'll notice that I have got two lines that are not uh, in one straight line. Okay, so make note of that because we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, so we're going to start with the eight and a half by eleven piece of cherry cobbler. I'm going to change the color up because my real red's gone. I'm going to use a pencil and mark it at 3 on the 8.5 by 11 side. I'm going to flip it over to 180 degrees so the opposite 8.5 by 11 side is up against the scoreboard and mark it at 3 there. Now the next step is to set this aside and I will be bringing in my paper trimmer. Now I've got the rotary edition on my paper trimmer. We used to sell that, but we just sell the arm that's got the trimmer and the scorer blade on it. So I'm going to try to get this all in the screen. What I'm doing is lining up the notch, that three inch mark that I made there, into the cutting groove, three inch mark on this side as well, right there. Okay, so down. And make a slice. So there we get two equal pieces off of one eight and a half by eleven, and they'll be like that. So now I'm going to move this aside, and I could get my other paper trimmer out that's got the scoring and the cutting tool on it, but I like my scoreboard for this type of thing, and we still sell this scoreboard. All right. So my next step is to. Score it at four and seven and three fourths. Same with this side. Score it at four and seven and three fourths. Now, if I put the two pieces back together, you will notice that these score marks are not all on the same line. Okay, so make note of that when you. Um, Make your scoring. You first have to cut it into, into the two angle pieces and then do the scoring for the folding. Yeah. All right, I can set this aside now. And I'm going to bring this back in. So this is in real red. The sample, however, that I just cut and scored is in cherry cobbler. So I'm going to bend it back this way and bend it back that way. See, and you get that angle card. And then you do want to use pencil because if you use pencil, you can erase that mark that's right there. All right, and I'm going to bring in the final. This is the final package. So I am creating these to give to my helpers that are helping me with the quarterly demonstrator meeting on Saturday. Oh, and I did want to share these vellum snowflakes. All right, so there's two things about the vellum snowflakes. You got to use your big shot and you got to use your magnetic platform. All right, I ran it through once and I'm going to run it back through again. And I'm going to set the big shot aside and I'll show you my sandwich. It is the magnetic platform, clear cutting pad, a vellum, and then the framelits, the thinlets actually right there and then a clear cutting pad that went on top. So I'll be bringing in the Big Shot brush along with the foam that comes in the same package. Transferring that to the foam and you want to run your brush over that and see the vellum snowflake just fell right out and all those little chads fell with it. So you'll have to have a good waste basket when you use these little guys that have a lot of things that come out of it. All right. So see, look at that. All of them. Ooh, just a few. So I'll have to use my paper piercer to take those out. 
This one didn't fall yet, out yet, but it, it is wanting to fall out. So let's just run through it on a different, different angle. Hopefully that will help it come out. There we go. Look at that, beautiful snowflakes. I attached them all three sizes to the front there. Power of three, pull in the eye to open that card. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out the other video where I share how to add this thread and all the measurements and, for the other objects on this card. Thanks for watching. Bye.